Hey, uh, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this uh, Saturday night. It is Saturday night. Goodness. The weekend half over already. Uh, it is uh, June 10th, 2023, about 1043 here in the uh, evening time period here along the West Coast. Latest activity shows a 1.2 up into the area of Alaska. Uh, we did see a little bit of uptick here uh, across the northern edge here of the Pacific Plate. Go ahead and check this out. Uh, it is of some interest because, well, we, we've been waiting for some larger movement here across the Kuro-Kamachaka Trench. So let's go ahead and check it out, see what's going on here. 4.2 into the Russia area. It's pretty deep. 133 kilometers deep here into the very northern edge here of the uh, northwestern area of the Pacific Plate boundary. That's a Kuro Kamchaka Trench, so deeper movement, obviously triggering some further strain upstream here. This is a major accumulator, by the way, a major accumulator of some stress out here. This is the, is the uh, plate tectonic map. Shows the general direction, the black arrows here, showing the general direction of the plate continental drift. Plate tectonic theory out here. Um, and this is the subduction zone here, accumulated stress built up average about 83 kilometers here across the uh, Japan Trench and the Kuro Kamachaka Trench. So things are building up out here across the area. Um, just within the uh, last 24 hours or so, we've seen about, about three earthquakes, including a 5.2 here near the Kuro Islands, a little bit further down south. So things are uh, ramping up here slightly across that region. We'll continue to watch this for some large scale. I'm talking large scale activity. It's uh, well overdue, I think, for a mega quake. Uh, we're talking probably above 7.0 for this area. It's been building up uh, and it, uh, who knows how long it's gonna continue. Um, further down into the Indonesia area, still seeing a pretty good cluster of earthquake activity here on a broad scale. Uh, pretty much uh, all the way here from about the Java Trench here, 4.7 earlier this morning, all the way to the New Guinea area. Now, now I know it looks like there's not a lot of activity there on the map, but obviously on the globe, there's quite a few threes and fours kicking off here across this area. Uh, this is very typical, though, uh, to see that much stress built up in that region. Um, further east here around Papua New Guinea, 4.8. Uh, down south here, uh, Kermadec Trench looks like I'm seeing a 4.0 coming in. Let's see where this is at. Been watching for some uh, movement here across New Zealand. I'm, I'm still kind of waiting. Um, this earthquake coming in well north of the New Zealand area, but somewhat deep here into the Kermadec Trench, the trench zone right here. That is a 4.0 earthquake striking into that area. Uh, USGS not picking up on that earthquake yet, but obviously uh, it's showing up there on the globe. New Zealand, as far as New Zealand goes, let's, well, let's go ahead and check it out and see what's going on here because it's, uh, it, it's just one of those areas that I'm kind of watching pretty closely for some movement. And the reason being is because all, of all the activity around it. Uh, New Zealand sits around a, plate, a major plate boundary. And uh, there's been movement all around this area. Up north and down south here with uh, very minimal activity across this plate boundary zone. So it's, uh, it's definitely uh, it's coming, I think. Uh, 2.7 here about four hours ago. North Island, New Zealand area. Um, let's see what we got here for the drums. I'm not seeing any large scale movement taking place here. There's that, uh, earthquake. Uh, that kind of looks like it's kicking up down south here though. Let's see, where was that? It was not 2.7. That was something a little bit larger down here around the, uh, South Island area, there's quite a few twos and some ones. It almost looks like it's a three-pointer kicking up down there. Um, let's go back up north here. Uh, 
That was approximately about six to eight hours ago, that earthquake right here. Uh, looks like a three to four pointer down there around the South Island area, Alpine Fault maybe. Uh, but as far as any uh, further activity, a little bit of movement further down south. Definitely looks like things are uh, somewhat elevated. Nothing big going on across New Zealand currently, but we'll know. Obviously, we'll know uh, when the adjustment takes place here across this plate boundary. There's major subduction zone here, the Hikurangi subduction zone. And, of course, a region here across South Island, New Zealand. Uh, that's an area, obviously, that uh, builds up quite a bit of strain and uh, some large earthquakes out there. All right, further to the west here, um, not a whole lot going on, at least according to the USGS. Uh, let's see what we got here across the Himalayas. Pretty quiet there today. Minimal activity across the Turkey area and the Mediterranean region. We got a 5.0 down into the South Africa region now. Um, there we go. That's going to be a 5.0 South Africa outside of um, Johannesburg. This is a very populated region here. Um, I did have a couple folks here emailing me asking what's going on. There's a little bit of quaking going on out here. This one was coming in earlier this afternoon time period. Uh, so that is a confirmed earthquake here southeast of the Alberton, South Africa region at 10 kilometers deep. That's a very shallow earthquake striking out here around Johannesburg. Obviously a major uh, populated density out there. There's some of the reports coming in, mostly light to moderate shaking. Uh, look at the historical data around the Johannesburg area since about 1900 or so. Uh, shows clusters of uh, some good activity out here. So this region does see some fours and fives and maybe what looks like maybe some sixes out here scattered about uh, the area around the South, South Africa area. But uh, definitely shaking things up. Been a little while, right? It's been a little while since we've seen any earthquake activity out here into the South Africa region. Um, Johannesburg area, again, very populated region. All right, uh, let's see what else we got going on out here across the area. There's a movement up north into the Turkey area. Looking at the globe here, um, Af uh, let's see here, the Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. South America, a couple fours stacking on top of each other here. A little bit of activity across the Middle America Trench. Let's see what we got going on here across the states. Uh, that includes California. Uh, goodness, it doesn't look like there is too much activity going on here. This is a 2.5 and above. The latest, a 2.9 around the San Andreas Fault, it looks like. But for the most part, uh, things very minimal across the uh, West Coast for now. Go ahead and check out the trimmer map here and see what we have going on. 64 epicenters of trimmer. Uh, mostly situated here across the southern segment of the Cascadia. Roughly about, uh, oh, let's see where we, what do we got up here? A little bit of activity south of Olympia. Haven't really seen too much activity here recently. Again, this is down dip into the Cascadia subduction zone there, about 45 kilometers or so. Very, uh, yeah, somewhat minimal activity, I think. Uh, 64 epicenters of trimmer. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here. Kind of taking a large skip here across the area. Uh, let's see, the big island of Hawaii. Uh, goodness, can you believe that? Only four earthquakes? It's a little hard to believe. Uh, Kilauea Volcano. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on here across the volcano area. Of course, the magma obviously flowing freely at the surface levels there. And uh, currently erupting. That's the latest informational statement here, June 10th, earlier this morning. So we'll continue to watch uh, the activity there. Space weather activity here provided by solarham.net. 
still uh, continues to show somewhat elevated activity, although I think that's somewhat minimal uh, for the most part here, at least what we're seeing. 99% chance for a C flare, M flare 25, X flare around 5% chance. And then look at the magnetogram here, shows diminishing activity here across this uh, sunspot that was looking somewhat promising here. Uh, but for the most part, it's looking stable. The separation here is very obvious and that will provide very minimal conditions. Um, and obviously most of these sunspots here are not looking all that active. The only region I think that may have a, pro a possibility is really within the center core of the sunspot, which is going to be uh, 3327. But Overall, uh, things are dying down here on the Earth-facing side of the sunspot, or at least of the sun here. Uh, very minimal activity, not a whole lot of auroras up there currently. All right, let's see uh, what else we have here for the Storm Prediction Center, uh, at least for tonight. A little bit of activity striking out here across the eastern portion of the country. Now for tomorrow, it looks like the West Coast uh, areas around Nevada. Goodness, look at Redding. Redding getting in on some activity out here tomorrow as well with a 40% uh, chance there, it looks like, of some thunderstorm activity. Um, far as the severe weather threat goes, this is current day threat right now. Obviously, uh, some thunderstorm activity around Texas that will continue overnight. No major severe weather threats in the forecast. It looks like maybe day four coming up here, uh, which will be taking place here Tuesday of next week um, around the southern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas area. But that includes Louisiana and southwestern Arkansas area as well with a slight 15% chance of severe weather. That could include obviously some large hail, large wind, uh, maybe a tornado threat or two in this area as well. We'll get into that as things progress towards the Tuesday time period. Yellowstone National Park, not a whole lot going on for, for the uh, earthquake activity, folks. All right, um, I'm off here. I hope everyone uh, has a good night. Um, Took the kids out here to uh, trampoline park earlier today, uh, so I uploaded a short there um, on the channel. Go check it out if you can. Are going to barbecue tomorrow? We are going to barbecue tomorrow. Goodness, I, I bought a bunch of barbecue stuff here today, but uh, I'm just too tired, just a little bit too drained and tired here to do uh, any barbecue stuff tonight. But uh, we'll do that tomorrow. We are getting close here, five days away from the drawing. The member drawings coming up, folks. So if you want to be included to win prizes, free prizes, you guys don't have to really pay for anything here. Uh, giving away um, either a $50 Visa MasterCard or gift card of your choice, or a, a geology binding kit. Um, I think it's a seven or 11 piece geology mining kit or an Earthmaster t-shirt of your color, your choice. So jump in on the member drawing here. It's coming up in five days. We're gonna be picking out two people. That is two people live. So uh, jump, in, jump on in. <laughs> we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow sometime, guys. Have a good night.